It is the 5th of the 1st, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to start off with a, a story I found off from Mary Greeley. A magnetic polar shift causing massive global superstorm. Now, uh, this story, it, it goes through how, uh, let's go right here, cracks in the Earth's magnetic shield. The Earth's northern magnetic pole was mo moving towards Russia at the, at the rate of about 5 miles annually. That progressed into these happened for decades. Suddenly in the past decade, the rate spe sped up. Now the magnetic pole is shifting east at the rate of 40 miles annually, an increase of 800%. And it continues to accelerate. And I have a film I put out last year of a chief NOAA scientist admitting the fact that the pole is shifting. Uh, definitely an interesting read. It goes into the fact that, that uh, this might be a sign of uh, an ice age kicking in due to a polar shift, a magnetic polar shift, volcanic eruptivity, and these superstorms due to cracks that happen that are happening in the magnetic shield. Uh, which is backed up by spaceweather.com. They have a story up there right now. I will provide a link to that as well. Um, as far as these cracks are happening in the magnetic sphere. Uh, over to Earth Changes, Scott.net. Chile battles th three huge wildfires. One killed, tourists evacuated, and losses in the millions uh, as far as revenue. It has burned about 90 square miles, 23,000 hectares of forest, destroyed more than 100 homes, and had driven away thousands of tourists while causing millions of dollars in losses. Uh, U.S. Kentucky, over 30 birds mysteriously die on Montgomery County Road. Um, they say all the birds are the same, and uh, they all died at one intersection kind of thing. Queensland, Australia, harbor deaths still unexplained, and uh, these were the, the deaths I was reporting on earlier this year uh, with the dolphins and the, the, the dugongs, which are the manatees and other animals in uh, the Gladstone Harbor. They still don't know what's killing them. Lost world discovered around Antarctic vents. Communities of species previously unknown to science have been discovered on the seafloor near Antarctica. Clustered in the hot, dark environmental surrounding hydrothermal vents, the discoveries made by teams led the University of Oxford, uh, Southampton, and British Antarctic Survey include new species of yeti crab, starfish, barnacles, sea anemones, and potentially an octopus. And uh, these are what you remember when they went down and found these big volcanoes down in the Antarctic. Um, and, of course, here are life in the, the deep sea vents, that kind of thing. And that's about all new they have tonight. Nothing really new on uh, Extinction Protocol. Uh, RSOE, let's see... The forest fires in Australia and the Rolly Stone area uh, landslide in the Philippines, uh, the, the collapse in a, a gold mine area was undefined. Extreme weather in Canada, of course, British Columbia, Vancouver Island. Uh, slight earthquake in South Carolina, Somerville region. Heat waves in California, landslide in Switzerland. Um, Storm surge in Norway, and you're going to remember that one big wave killed an a oil worker uh, yesterday in uh, Britain with that great big storm. And more flash flooding in Thailand, of course. That is about all climate change new tonight. There's not really a lot new going on. Over to uh, e, e News. Uh, watch Fukushima birds unable to fly. Allow humans to approach as do sickened Alaska seals. They got a report tsunami debris washing up in Alaska since September. True dimensions of what's going on probably will not be appreciated even now, uh, says one expert on a video. Bloomberg, Japanese don't want a nuclear future. Nations proving it's okay without reactors claim to be so vital. Yet government coddling the industry still. <coughs> Financial Times, everybody feels absolutely furious. It just babbles inside. 
We feel like we could explode, says Fukushima woman, and that's because they're being lied to over and over again. Report led 2010 detected in Yokohama sample, 84,000 becquerels per kilogram. Japan experts un unknown if radiation will decrease over time. It may rise again as highly contaminated debris comes from the mountains. And uh, South Korea, of course, radioactive store-bought seaweed measures is 0.81 microsieverts per hour. Um, and I have a video that was sent to me of the actual um, test, so I will attach that, of course. And uh, AP local Alaska officials concerned Fukushima radiation sick and seals. There may be some surprise, says Professor, but gut feeling it's not connected. So they don't think it's connected. But Anyway, uh, that's about all I have for you tonight. Uh, let's keep it short and sweet. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Uh, attach your comments or your videos below. I uh, appreciate all the help. Thanks for uh, everything. Enjoy the weekend, everybody.